Hi everyone, this is Ronnie from Canva. Welcome to another tutorial special CCC edition. Today we have a little bit of a different format as you will have noticed because I am going to introduce someone who is dear to my heart. Uh, his name is Onoa, he's one of our CCC, he lives in Nigeria and is kind of the king of designing from his mobile phone with Canva, of course. So today Onoa is going to teach us something that we will follow along from our phone. He's going to be using the Canva Android app. So Onoa, are you here? What are we going to learn with you today? Hi, my name is Onoa UI, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to create an Instagram carousel on your phone with Canva. Instagram carousels, this is super interesting, Onoa. I'm looking forward to follow along your tutorial. So if you're ready, I suggest we jump right in. What we're going to do now is we jump right into Canva. I'm going to use the web version of this and I'm going to use that to remove a background from a photo. So here's what I'm going to do. Go over here, tap in this plus button here and create a new dimension. So the height is going to be 1350 and then the width is going to be 1080. You could multiply this by two if you want to, but since I'm using a pro account, I don't need to do that because it's still gonna come out in high quality. But if you're using a free account, uh, I suggest what you do is you multiply it by two, that will be good. So I'm gonna say, okay here. Now on this particular place, what you want to do is you wanna start working on your design. You wanna start putting things here. And what I usually say is, before you do this, just discover the kind of photo you want to use. That will uh, properly give you our accurate guidelines and how you're going to go around with your design. What I do is, I'm gonna come here and just put here a plus button here. You can go over to, you can go and download the image you want to use. For me, I already have this image here. So what I'm going to do is, I can just increase this particular image that's good the next thing I want to do is I want to get the total shape the total dimension for my artboard and then I'm going to go over to illustration shape and then I'm just going to choose the square right here and I'm just going to put it right here drag it down to this point and also push it to this point as well it's pretty good so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to reduce it like so and put it here to get the actual dimension of this to know the reason why you want to do this is you want to know how many slides the photo you are using can generate for you so i'm going to put this here this is one and if i'm going to duplicate it again and put it right here so you can see that it's given me uh like say one and also half of it so you can see i also have an extra space right here which is pretty good so while creating these i have to put in mind have it in mind that whatever i'm going to create here will also uh, affect the other part of my design but it's not going to be complete it's not a full two slide so i have extra around there but i'm going to know how to work that out which is pretty good but i do not want to change the dimension of this particular image when i'm spreading it across this artboard okay so i'm just going to go ahead and delete this and also delete this so I am sure what I'm doing right now so I'm just gonna place this right here gently just place it right here I'm gonna increase it like so increase it and then just bring it towards this direction here just here and also grab it until it gets to this point where I want it to be okay this is awesome and I'm just gonna put it this way I tap my okay that's pretty good. Now, one thing you need to know is whatever you're going to be needing on other pages, you have to add them on this first page. Whatever you're going to need. So for me, I'm going to need to have my photo here and other things. So what I'm going to do, go to illustration, shape. I'm going to choose this. I'm going to reduce it like so. I'm going to put it right here because I want it to be there. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go over to illustration again, frame. I want to take this because I will also need it. 
and I'm just gonna bring it around here so what I'm going to do here is to add my photo here and go to gallery and I have the a photo I want to use already so it's here I'm just gonna add it I do not need this I delete it reduce this and I'm just going to bring it right here it's pretty good so the next thing I want to do is I also want to have my social media handle so what I'm going to do is go over to text and I'm going to look for uh, the one that certainly fits what I want to do um, okay maybe this I'm just try to see could be this one so tap here ungroup it you need to delete this, delete all of this, I do not need them. Okay, so I'm going to just put this uh, for my handle. That's what I'm going to use there. Hopefully I'm going to still change this, but uh, I'll put it here. And I'm going to change the color to white. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to also duplicate it because I need to have it around here. Also going to put another handle there, say design with Canva. I'm just gonna put that there and the next thing I want to do is add a text so I'm gonna come here and add my big title here so to add my title I'm gonna go over here this is my title I'm just gonna copy it come over here and what I want to do is I'm just going to paste it all right and then I'm going to go to change the font to a title font for Instagram that will really fit what I'm going to use is Anton. I think I like this one so well. So I'm going to use this. It's bold already. Okay, put that here. Take to the left. Increase it. Go to spacing. I'm just going to reduce the spacing. And then I'm going to make everything capital. That's our uppercase. And what I want to do next is I'm going to just duplicate this. And here I'm going to just type how to. I'm going to just reduce it like so. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is go here. What I'm going to type is script. And I'm going to look for the one that certainly fits what I want to use. And I think this beauty salon is going to be good. Hit OK. Change that to small letters. I'm going to just put how to. And that's OK for me. So I like that. I'm going to just arrange this to this position here that's what I want I just make sure that you live in the edge you're not putting it at the edge of your design so I'm just gonna put this here pretty good pretty good and this one here as well all right uh, not pretty good okay I think it's better now all right so what I'm going to do here is just drag this one down a little bit increase it to and just add this how to here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this how to and leave it like so and this one I'm going to just increase it like so and just put it right here now the next thing I want to add to this design is I want to add it's gonna be the Canva logo so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna type Canva and I'm gonna just choose this what I'm going to do is just put it around here. It's pretty good. So the next thing I want to have is I want to have um, yeah, like a pointer telling me to go to the next slide. So what I'm going to do is come over here, illustration. I'm going to go to shape, select this one, change it, give it this as a color. I'm going to put it somewhere around here. Remember, the reason why we're doing this is because we are going to always have to use this, some of this element. We we'll need them to make sure our slides are complete. And we're just going to put this here. And what we're going to do is go to plus again. And we're going to search for arrow. And I'm going to look for one here that will serve me what I want to use it for. I think this is still good. So we could also use that. So I'm just going to delete this, convert this color to this, solves my problem. I'm going to just drag it and put it right here. So okay, this is good. And uh, the idea here is because you you want it to be easy for people. You just want to tell them what to do. All right. So we just raise this up. We're also going to raise this up a little bit. Push it here. And this one also. I'm just going to put it here. 
So right now we have this here and it's boldly saying, uh, telling us what we are going to learn here, which is how to create Instagram carousel on your phone using Canva. Scared. So what we're going to do is the next slide right now, but if you check, we're just going to delete this one. And what we're going to do is duplicate this and uh, when we duplicate this, we certainly do not need some of the things here. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that the first slide and the second slide rhymes together because that is part of the idea for a carousel that people usually use today. Uh, the basic idea for a carousel is to just put a series of information like slides, sliders on the website or uh, something like that. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to come over here. Remember this is just like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it. Remember the size we got before. So it's going to be something like so. You can see that uh, from the top portion around here, you can see that uh, we need to adjust it a little bit. And that's the main point of the carousel, right? If you're going to add images to slide into another one. So and to do this, we're just going to push it a little bit this way. And if you're going to check again, you notice that is getting better. So this is pretty good like so, you can see it. You can see that it's really good. So we're done with that part. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead to get uh, the particular image that you're going to use for your design. If you want to have more images and other parts of it, I'm going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is go to image here we are going to search for let me just scroll through I'm gonna search for happy lady to see what we're gonna get there so I'm trying to see what that is okay so we can use this yeah I think we can use this and we're gonna put it here like so and we're gonna just close it all right and wait for it to just populate so what we're gonna do next is go to our browser and we're just going to refresh this Okay, and then we are going to come to our design here. Open it in Chrome. Okay, so right now, here's what we have. And we have this. So we're just gonna tap on it, select effect, go to background remover. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is play with this, you know, just to make it save the stuff for us. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're gonna go back. We're going to just, just close that up, open it again. I'm going to go to my design, refresh this again, and go into it. So right now it should be here, so good. So what we're going to do now is we can just play around with this to see uh, where we really want it to be. And I think we need to increase this to say this. We want to put it just right about here. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to delete this Canva because we don't need that again. The other thing we don't need is we don't need this on this particular slide here. Okay, we're going to need that, but it's not too much of a problem. All right, so uh, we also do not need this. We're going to delete that. We also do not need this text. We're going to delete that as well. But the only thing we just need here is this. We do not need we need that so we're just going to leave this where it is but we're going to push it to the top so it will be okay right here all right so here's what we're going to do right now we have this image here we're going to put it right here now what you're going to do is watch the down part of it that is where the alignment takes place you're going to set it properly and you're done the next thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this page as well you want to duplicate this page here you have you have it so what you're going to do is you don't need this you don't need this one you're going to delete it what you need is just this so you're going to drag it this part to make it align better with this one so what you're going to keep doing is you want to just keep looking to be sure that it matches what you want just push it in like so and check it again if it's fitting properly okay just a little it's left and um, just 
just gonna do that again. So I think this is good. If this is done here, then one thing we just need to correct is that this went to the top. We're just gonna bring it down like so. And you can see that it fits, right? It fits together with what we have right here. The next thing we wanna do is give this a different color. We can just give it this. And we come over here and we also give this color this. All right? And that's okay with it. So it means that when you uh, are going to slide this way, you're going to see it like this. Now, we're going to add our text here. And the text we want to have on the second slide, we're going to have this. So copy it. Come back here. Add some text in your own. And just put that right there. Then come over here and select a font that is going to be good for what you want to do. I think this is going to be a good font for this. Okay, so here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it this way. You could want to put it at the top here. It all depends on where you want to put it. What I want to do is I'm going to break this so it will fit well. I like it. Yeah, you can still come around to just play with it to make sure that it fits what you want. Maybe like so. All right, so you see that we have this and we're just going to push this to this position here. And that's it. So right now we have our first slide and we also have our second slide. Just going to bring this down to fit with this other one here. So it's going to go up a little bit. Okay, so you can see we have this here. We have this. We also have this sorted out. And it's not in black and white, but we can still change it and put that also in streets. Go over to advanced. All right, so here you can see what we certainly do have. Now this is another um, place where we need to put something else. It's still going to be this. Uh, we're just going to use, I think we should just use 60 here. So we're going to copy the same thing and we're going to put it right here. So just see what we're doing. We're going to go pick the third one. This is it, copy it, and I'm going to come over here, do is go to text, paste it here. And choose this, say so, okay, change it to 60, this is okay, just increase it, take it to your left or right, wherever fits, and that is it. So you put it this way, put it this way. And that is how you just go about creating your carousel for Instagram. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to just watch the spacing properly. This one, spacing is 0 0.9. So you come here, you also want to do the same thing. So you want to put it 0 0.9. And this is good. All right, so you're saying you don't need sophisticated design software to create your first carousel. And what do you need to do here is you need to go ahead and create more slides. So simple, you can just come here and create another slide here. Just gonna add this, duplicate this. I'm going to delete this one. So come here and what you want to put here is, you don't need this image again, delete it. You need this text. So what you're going to do is come back here, take this one, just copy it and paste this here. If you have an image like me, I do have an image here. So I could just decide to use this one just play around with whatever you have and see how you're going to get good results go back here and change it to streets and just going to reduce this to the back all right so you can see that we have this here and it's looking pretty good all right it's looking really really good so all you're going to do is after placing it after placing it here it's in the middle you just want to come and send it, push it to back, or maybe you want to put it this way. You want to push it towards this way. And then all you need to do, push it to back again. So what you have there will just come to the front. Now this is good, and you also want to just drag this and just put it here, all right? Maybe this one needs to come down a little bit like so. So you can see we have this over here like this. This is how to go about creating carousels in Canva from your phone. 
Now if you want to be sure if this is correct, all you're going to do is you can add more to this. You can keep adding different things to it. Just keep adding, keep adding. And then you want to just come to the last part here and you want to add something, say, you want to add your own text. Did you learn something new today? You're just going to put that here, go here, and you want to use this. And you want to just find height. Increase that, put it this way. And you just want to put it here. Just increase it, change the color to white. Did you learn something new today? You're going to say, let me know in the comments. Okay, this is pretty good. And you can just change the style to this. And this fits well. Just increase it like so. And that is it. Good, you have done well. Okay, so this one is going to be back to perhaps luck. Okay, so I think this is uh, pretty good. So what you want to do is to just come and add your photo. Go to illustration frame. I'm going to choose this one. And what I'm going to do is go to gallery and add my image there. So here's it, pretty simple and I'm good to go. Here we have created awesome Instagram carousel. So to test if it's correct before you publish properly, you need to download it. So we're gonna download all of it. Okay, so saved. So what we're going to do is go to Instagram and test if it's going to work. If we actually did the right thing. So I'm gonna go over here and say add this up and fit it to the size that we've already selected, this. And I'm going to say select multiple. Then I'm going to start by selecting the first one and then select the second one, the third one, the fifth one, and the sixth one. I will say next. And we'll also say next to this. We're not posting this, we just want to test to see if everything is accurate. So do not share, just tap on this carousel again that you've designed and see, you can see that, you can see that we have a problem here. So this doesn't fit properly. So uh, what it means here is we're going to adjust it a little bit by pushing it to the uh, right and then to the top a little. So I'm just gonna come back here. What we're going to do is here, we're going to push it this way. All right, so this should work. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to uh, download just two slides. The slides we're going to download will be two and three. So we're just going to say download the slides for us. And we want to save as. We want it to be two and three. Download, we just want that. So we'll wait for it. And it's going to pick it for us. Okay, published, go back to Instagram, I'm gonna cancel all of this, I'm gonna do it again, and uh, we just got this too, so that's what we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna say, select multiple, so we're just gonna say next, let's see if it's correct. So this is uh, just a little adjustment that you just have to do, see that this is correct. And now you can see that this is good. So we have it uh, appropriate right now, the, it's pretty good, it's pretty awesome. You can see that we have one image right there and uh, that's okay. So you can just go ahead and keep creating, keep going and you have your carousel created for your Instagram. So that is how to go about creating Instagram carousels. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, Onoa. This was very cool. I really enjoyed your tutorial. I'm glad we started teaching about how to use Canva from a mobile uh, in general, because I know a lot of users are using Canva from their phone. So uh, this was amazing. I really liked your design. I really liked the way you explained everything. This is almost the end of the tutorial. Onoa, do you want to let people know where they can learn more about you, where they can find you? Thank you for watching my tutorial. 
If you wish to see more of my designs, you can be part of my community on Facebook, Design with Canva. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Design with Canva. If you want to talk to me personally, you can just check me out on Facebook, on how you I. Thank you so much. All right, guys, this was our show for this week, our CCC tutorial for this week. Uh, thank you so much, Onowa. Go check him out. Go join his community on Facebook. Follow him on Instagram or just reach out to him if you have a question. Uh, again, this was Ronnie. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.